Well, uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I was just in Austin, and uh, I, did the, I didn't do the South by Southwest thing, but it's this thing called South by Southwest, and it's really supposed to be about all these, you know, they have this conference thing, and all these clubs let these bands play there, and they really should be bands that aren't signed yet, you know, and the first two years, they were like, nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I said fuck it and went down anyway with me and Elliot. Come on. Let's go fucked up. So I brought the little Maxi Mouse, and uh, we set up in front of the Driscoll, this hotel in front of the Kinkos, and we just went to town. And the first couple of years, it was uh, St. Patrick's Day, so Elliot played all the Pogue songs he knew, and uh, and it was really funny, you know. And then, then um, <laughs> what the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> okay, yeah. So anyway, th then the second two years, um, this year, and then last year, they did want me, and I said, "Fuck you, I don't want you." <laughs> So it was kind of funny, and um, it was just, I had all these memories of when I was playing out there of me and um, Elliot and all the A&R people that were fawning all over me at the Troubadour two weeks before, and then I'm, I'm playing out there and they're walking by at three in the morning with cigars going back to the hotel, and they were like this far away, and it's like, hello, remember me? Like there goes, I'm not going to name any names, but these A&R guys, and they're so fucking stupid, you know, and I'm out there, and I'm like, you know, making them come and see my friend Elliot and this and that, and they're like, oh, does your little friend Elliot want a drink? And you know, that sort of thing. And it's just like, oh my god. It must have felt like Joan Baez in like 1963, does your little friend Bob want a drink? You know, like, what the fuck is that? So, uh, you know, if, if all those fucking a &R people that passed on Elliot Smith were sitting in there going, Jesus Christ, if I had only listened to that very little, or listened with my own ears instead of worrying if Rick Rubin were over my shoulder, you know? So that was a big... Sorry. So I played in, the, in Austin, I played seven hours one night, and then I played like seven hours the next night. So I'm a little bit acoustic out. So <laughs> I'm really happy to have the band here. I love my band and we're having a great time. These guys are from my, my hometown, Salem, Massachusetts, except for Mark Barnacle. Halloween Capital, he's from Worcester. <laughs> but that's, that's me, you know. And Amy, of course, is from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Yeah. So, um, I was just going to say something else and I forgot about it. <laughs> what song are we playing? <laughs> oh, but Billy Bragg came down and played with me and it was really cool. <laughs> that was one of the highlights. Okay, this is a song called Lucky One. It's about gambling in, in Las Vegas and, and throwing the shirt in. <laughs> Freddie, yeah, this is a this is a Freddie Johnson tune. It, it's not one of his most popular ones, but it's a sweetheart, so... And it, I sing it a little bit like a hinge, so forgive me when I strain to hit those fritty, fritty notes. <laughs> Last night, all 
Just stop.